Hi, welcome to my JavaScript tutorial on computer programming arena. In this tutorial, you are going to learn how to create your website with JavaScript, HTML, CSS, PHP. So here we go. What you understand by JavaScript is the language um, of HTML and the web. So we are using it for functionality of your website. And before you can start, you are writing the JavaScript inside HTML document or you write it inside .js document. So which means you can put it in your in your HTML document or you create a special file which will have extension of .js. Now let's start with this little example. So let's now have this example by clicking here, you change it to HTML documents. You have a HTML a HTML file like this. And display that as the title of your website or of your page. Then put uh, in JavaScript. JavaScript tutorial. So in this place, I want to change some content in my website using JavaScript. So we go like this. Let me say I have P paragraph. I say recon. Welcome to JavaScript. JavaScript. Sorry. Now, how can I change this content? Maybe when I click on a button, like this button. When I click on this button, change text. So when I click on this, let's save this our file first. I'm going to save it here. Let's call javascript.html Because I said we are going to write your javascript code inside html documents Or if you want to write your javascript code You can still write it outside html Which means it will have .js extension But we want to start from the one inside html So html So let's run this code now I'm browsing right here. You can see we have the, this content. What we want to achieve is this. You may want to achieve this in a big website. Where you have content here and you click on the button, the content will change. Click on another button, the content will change. So that's what we want to achieve here. You see that when I click on this button, nothing happens. So you must identify this your um, your paragraph first. So let's call this paragraph. Let's give it identity, which is ID. Let me call it paragraph or just paragraph. All right. Now you now put it here that when do you want to perform this action? Is when you click on it. So that means on click. So you put on click. Down click means when i click on it so what do you want to happen change text this text i write you can just write any name so i call it change text so this change text i i did you see i put i put open bracket close bracket that means is a function that means is a function then you write that function inside your javascript inside your um JavaScript code. So we want to put it inside head and put scripts. Now this thing, anything that has open bracket, close bracket like this is a function. So we put function with no parameter because we don't put anything inside. That means it has no parameter. So function, what is the name? Change text. So that is the name of the function. So this is how you write it. That means when you on click means when you click on this change text button, this thing will fire. So what is now this thing? So is this? Let's plus check whether it will work. Let's just put alerts, alerts, and refresh this page. Click here. You can see that it works. So that means when you click on this on the button, this this thing will fire. What is now that thing? Is this one? 
So anything you put inside, you work. You work. Now what we want to do now is we want to get this text and change. Um, welcome to JavaScript tutorial. We want to change the text, the paragraph. And before you can change that, you know you must access this page. How you now access that page? You write it like in documents dot. This is ID. So get element by ID. Get element by ID. So what is the name of that ID? Parag. So with this code, this code is referring to everything here. Document dot get element by ID. What is now the name of the ID? Parag. So it's referring to that thing there. So dot inner html that means you want to write something inside this paragraph do we have a um, welcome to javascript before now anything you write there we overwrite the formal so let me put hello javascript let's put it this then you terminate so with this little code with this little code document don't get element by the, the parag the id name dot in nice in nice means what should be written in between the paragraph that is in nice in between the id so which we have welcome to javascript tutorial before so we want to change it to hello javascript so let's now see the output save refresh here so click here you can see welcome to javascript then we refresh again this welcome to javascript tutorial Hello JavaScript. So that is simple. You can see how JavaScript access what we write before. So that first example. What if you want to change uh, the color of this welcome to JavaScript? The color of it. You know that color is this, you want to style it. That's CSS. So you can still use JavaScript to to perform that action by writing dot style so to change the color of the text it now be style dot color you know we want to use style that's css dot color is color we want to access so the color should change to red so let's check it out here so so tap here, you can see it changed to red. If I change this to green, so I click here, you see that's changed to green. Okay. So what if you want to do down? You want to add that welcome to JavaScript tutorial because there's some time in website you may want to hide something. Maybe you tell user to click on this and it will hide the, some contents. So how you do that? Put display none. That means to hide the contents. So you can see the content has gone. Let's refresh. It's back. Click here. The content has gone. So that is a simple way to use the style dot. Now what we added here is just something like this style it just something like this you know normally if you want to put color to some things you can write it like this color red font size 40 pixel you can see the way we did it in um, css even inside uh, HTML um, JavaScript, you are going to put style. So that means calling upon this style. Color. That's dot color that we added there. Dot color. So what is there? Red. So when we put red there, it works. What about the font size? If you see something like iPhone here, you are going to do it like this. Font, it will change to something like this. Because it's two words. To join two words together, you join it like this, and the second word will not be big letter. So let me put 50 pixels here. You can see the way we change HTML to JavaScript.